Welcome back to the Earl Ingram Show. As always, you can join us at 855-752-4842. And the only person that I would interrupt Whitney Houston, I'll be your baby tonight for, has arrived. Governor Tony Evers. Good morning to you, my friend. How you doing? I'm doing good. I don't know. I deserve to uh, take Whitney. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's a, that's... Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to. I was going to say that I. I would, you know, listening to her would be just fine with me. <laughs> How have you been doing? It. I know you're busy. You've been barnstorming. Yes, barnstorming. Not only Wisconsin, but. You know, we got three states that uh, that are going to decide who the next president and vice president uh, will be. And so I've been with uh, their their governors and other governors uh, barnstorming not only Wisconsin, but uh, but also Michigan and Pennsylvania. So it's uh, it's been busy, but uh, good. Good. Things are good. You know, Governor Evers, uh, you and I go back a little while and. I have to tell you, um, watching your, you know, your star shine has been very rewarding. You, you've been doing a great job and I haven't gotten a chance to tell you that, but I supported you, you know, and always have, I knew you were always the right guy. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Earl. I appreciate it. And, uh, it's, it's been, it's been quite a journey and, uh, I love it, but we still got a whole bunch of things we got to do better. So, um, a lot of, a lot of work co- going forward. So as and, and hopefully we'll, the uh, early voting is really important part of that. We have to get people out to vote and if they can do, do it early, that's important. So as a governor, you see yeah. probably more so than most, the importance of a president that understands what you and other governors are going through. Can you tell us the difference between the two? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know where I, where I would start, but Kamala Harris is, uh, she's got a great background, obviously. Uh, she's you know, been a prosecutor at the local and, and state level. She's been a, a senator, now vice president. I don't think there's vice president. I don't think there's anybody more capable and you think about the issues that our country is facing in our state, and uh, it's it's really critical that uh, uh, we you know we have reproductive freedom, that uh, uh, childcare is uh, is a top priority, uh, affordable housing is a top priority, uh, making sure that we uh, lower prices. Uh, all those things are absolutely important for the state of Wisconsin and for our country, and uh, she. She's she's the only one that's been talking about it. Frankly, her opponent uh, has not, and so we're we're looking forward to uh, a close race. But uh, we feel we're going going to be in a good position. You know, got to get people out to vote. Go- governor Evers, from the perspective of again a governor who who has seen the investment in your state, in the cities of your state. Uh, by the Biden and and Harris uh, presidency, but what do you want to say to people who 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 clearly ask what have they done? What, what do you want to say to people oh, as it relates? Oh, to, go ahead. Oh my God! Uh, all all I can say is the 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 resources that the, the Biden Harris administration provided for us. You know, from taking care of lead pipes to fixing the dam roads to uh, allowing us to uh, really increase the number of affordable housing that we have in the state of Wisconsin and, uh, you know, providing, you know, the whole small business piece that we had uh, where we provided resources for people to open up uh, uh, storefronts or uh, businesses and vacant storefronts in big cities and small cities across We've got 10,000 more uh, people that are doing that than, uh, than before. It has been, it has been an extraordinary uh, amount of resources they provided, and we've used them, uh, used that money in the best way possible. It, it has, that nothing like that came out, of the, came out of the prior administration headed by Donald Trump. They cared about what was going on in the states, and they provided those things. You, you know, Governor Evers, even rural, this is not just dollars that went 
to the cities. There certainly have been some some things that have happened in in the rural counties and towns uh, that have kind of given hope to them. Is it safe to say that? Oh, absolutely. That that whole piece of uh, uh, Main Street bounce back, where we were providing resources to uh, uh, to to municipalities and business people to open up their their dreams. And that happened as more so actually than in, in rural areas than, than urban areas. That's an, that's an easy one. In addition, we had direct money uh, given to, or gave direct money to our, our farmers uh, right during the pandemic. And that made a huge difference to, you know, make sure that they stay, uh, stay in, stay in business and providing us with great food. So it is rural, urban, you name it, uh, they, they provided resources to uh, uh, to do all those things. Governor it, Evers. It, it, it made, it's made a difference in our state, Earl, in that we have the lowest number of people uh, unemployed in our state and the, the largest number of people working in our state. In our state's history, That that and that recovering from the pandemic, that's an extraordinary thing, and the, and the federal government with with uh, Biden and Kamala Harris provided that for us. Two other questions. Governor, I know you're very busy. You've gotten to see the the vice president up close and personal. For those who say, we don't think she's capable of handling the position, you say what? I say BS. She sure is. She, she, uh, She is a great communicator. She cares about people. She cares about the right thing, and uh, she's had she has the experience. Uh, she she's she every time she comes to Wisconsin, I say welcome home, uh, Vice President, because <laughs> she uh, she spent time she spent time in Wisconsin, so she knows Wisconsin well, and she's going to be a great president. So, but to our listeners, you want to tell them about what getting out. Make sh- making sure you get out and bring somebody with you. You want to talk a little bit about why it's so important that they, that they get out and vote? Yeah, absolutely. This is a time to, uh, you know, to, to invest in the future, and that investment is just getting in to vote. I support early voting. Uh, we've got time. You know, we started yesterday, and it goes all the way to, obviously, the day, be- the day before the election. Uh, but we we are in a we are in a place now that we can really make some changes in Washington, D.C. for the better of all people. And uh, getting out to vote, I, the reason I like early voting, I think it's really important, is that people, people uh, you know, they, they, they make plans or their plans have changed, and all of a sudden it comes to Tuesday, November 5th, which is my birthday. And, but in, in, addition to, in addition to that is voting day. And we ha- we have to make sure, and then they 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 can't go vote because they have something come up. If they, if you have some time, go vote now, and uh, and and then you've done it. You've done your great democratic uh, uh, thing, and I and I'm I'm jazzed about it. We had good numbers yesterday. Let's just keep it going. Hey, Governor Evers, I got to uh, no, I got to let you go. As much as I love to continue to have some dialogue, I know you're a busy guy. But after this is over, can can we sit down and break bread uh, a little more in the air? Absolutely, be glad to do it, Earl. All right, thank you. That's that's Governor yeah. Evers, uh, you know, the governor of the state of Wisconsin, a man who, you know, I have to tell you, um, you know, who is another person who people thought. Yeah, well, I heard people say, well, he's not going to be capable of, and Governor Evers has been one of, you know, the, the best governors in my lifetime. You know, he's done some great things in the state, and he continues. Uh, so we want to thank Governor Evers and uh, for, you know, being the guy that he is and continuing uh, to fight for our state.